Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to update your phone using when it has CyanogenMod 10.1. So the first thing you're going to do is from your home screen, you're going to click your settings button, you're going to go to system settings, and you're going to go scroll all the way down until you get to about phone you're going to select on about phone then you will select cyanogen mod updates and then from the cyanogen mod updates you should hit the refresh button it will check for updates and as soon as it's done checking for updates if you have a new update to download it should pop up at the top um, I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi to download the update so now that I'm connected to my Wi-Fi I'm going to download the update by clicking this Sanogen guy here and oh wait that one's already downloaded um, and installed so it actually says installed there um, if it wasn't already downloaded and installed you could actually select the little button there and that button would download it um, since it is already installed uh, I'll show you one of the other ones which is down I have a couple of other ones that are downloaded so what you're gonna do is you're gonna if you already have it downloaded you can do a reboot and the way you do a reboot is you press and hold your power button until this screen pops up. This screen, this screen will pop up with power reboot screenshot airplane mode. You're going to select the reboot and then it's going to tell your phone will reboot. Click OK. And then this is the Samsung Galaxy S2. So um, whenever this one reboots, you have to press these two buttons there the volume buttons. Press the two volume buttons and hold them down. And when you press and hold it, it should pop up this screen. This is the Clockwork Mod Recovery screen. And you're going to have a few options. But you're going to want to scroll down to install from, install from zip card. When you get to the install from zip card, which should be the second item down, you're going to hit the little enter button at the bottom, and then you're going to go down to the choose zip from from internal SD card. And I can't probably can't read it, but it says choose zip from internal SD card. Then you're going to select that. By the way, I'm using the touch screen, but you can also go up and down with the buttons on the side and you can select by the button on the right so up and down is the volume rocker and the selection button is the power button there so you need to scroll down until you get to the folder that says CM updater when you get to that one select it and then you need to find the file with the most with the most recent date so my most recent date is 130306 and I'm going to select it and it's going to ask me to install you just scroll down to yes and select it and it should install uh, which will take a few minutes but since this one's already installed for me I'm not gonna make y'all actually watch the installation but uh, it should go back into this screen and you should just have to click select go back and then select reboot the system now um, then upon rebooting it it should boot up into the normal um, screen for updates anyways uh, hope that works for you.